It's your boss, Shalom. One. It's GMS Louisiana Saints coming back at you with another lesson. As always, we always want to give all praise and infinite honors to Yahweh by Yahweh Yahweh by Yahweh Double honors to the elders, apostles, the men of GMS. Peace and blessings always to the hopeful elect. Shalom out there. So this uh this lesson this Shabbat lesson here is going to be uh going back to the groundwork and doing uh basically the basics, man, because we're getting a lot of questions. And we got brothers that you know a number of brothers that's coming out to the camp just learning. We got guys on the comment board asking a lot of what I would what I would consider very easy, super easy questions that it would take more of an effort for them to just find out. You know, and you have a search engine on your computer, you have a search engine on YouTube just to put or punch in certain things, man. You have men really just being lazy. So this particular lesson of the night going back to the basis on how you, you know, you should take more of effort in, in, in reading and studying and certain books that you need to have, man, in order to get to where you need to be at, man, to hold your own in this truth, man. All right. So like I said, we're going to, we're going to, uh, tonight, you know, through the spirit, hit on those points, man. Lord willing, this is edifying. All right. Because back when I came in, in the truth, it was a certain requirement of books that we had to have. We had to have the King James Bible, no other Bible. We ain't reading from no other platform, no other, uh, uh, the Mother the King Bible, the damn, uh, Thomas Edison Bible. No, the King James Bible, man. All right. You gotta, you need the King James Bible. You don't need to be putting up no scriptures, quoting no scriptures from no other place. All right. King James Bible. So, I say, this is what you need, Jay. This is what you need right here. <coughs> King James version of the Bible, man. All right. Just to start off with. All right. And give me that uh, study to show that self approving and get that word study, man. So we can, uh, we can start it off, man, through the spirit. I got you. This is uh, 2 Timothy 2 and 15. Study to shoot thyself approved unto the most high, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. So we're going to get a couple words in that. And this is how you study. All right. This is how you go about finding out answers that you need to know. All right. One of them being, and like I said, and I'm really speaking to the sincere out there behind the camera, man. The ones that don't know no better, the ones that are uh, actually just learning, or the ones of you that got billions of questions, the answer, the ask on this, on this, on this board, man. All right, you don't, you know, I, I take it as if either you, you don't know, or you just young, or sometimes they can be on a sense of what, what we say, scoffing. But like I said, I'm just gonna put it out there to put it at rest, man. So one of one of the things that we use over here at GMS. All right, to get more uh, edified on a particular verse or whatever, is some you can go to the Blue Letter Bible, man. All right, Blue Letter Bible or well, blueletter.com. And the brother gonna put, you know, the brother gonna put it up there or whatever. And one thing, if you don't have the Blue Letter, this is another book that you can you can use, man. This was a, a requirement by the elder apostles to have, man. I'm gonna put it up there so you can see it all the way. All right, this is the book that it was required for us to have back then, man. It was the King James Bible and the, the Apocrypha, man. And you see my Apocrypha all beat up because it'd be used, man. I then ran through several of them. But this is the main one of the main things, man, that you needed. And really, you still need as a young man coming into the truth, you need this. Now, only thing that the the blue letter Bible does, is, you know, is, you know, kind of like segue you faster than going through papers. You can actually click certain words, like we finna do. Now, the brother, read that scripture again. I huh? show that self approved. This is Second Timothy two and fifteen. Study to shoot thyself approved unto the Most High, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. So we're gonna get, we're gonna go into the word. Study, you're gonna go into word divide. 
all right? Because when you get when you get a strong concordance like this, you have what we call the you got the Old Testament, which was done in the Hebrew, and you have the New Testament, which was pretty much done in the Greek. All right, and we as men of the Lord over here, we go into other words too, like the Latin. All right, the Greek, the Latin, and the Hebrew, man. You get a full understanding, a full scope of uh, the origin of words, man. And this book here got the Greek in it, and has the Hebrew and the, the true definition of words, man. Like this one guy, and this really for this guy tonight. This really is for this guy, uh, lights out, man. They come on a combo, come in, boy, lights out 12. They have a lot of questions. And this is your ass. This is a, the foundation of getting your answers tonight, man. And I hope you uh writing writing this down, writing these books down, man. You know. But uh, let's go through. Let's go. You know, like I said, do the blue the blue letter and find out the word uh what the word study mean, man. Then divide. Uh, you know, the word some of the key words within that verse, man. For the word uh, study in 2 Timothy 2.15, it's Strong's G4704. Strong's G4704. Spudazzo. 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 And I'm going to go to the outline of biblical usage and the strong info. The outline of biblical usage, it says, I hasten, make haste to exert oneself. Endeavor, give diligence. Yeah, endeavor to give diligence, man. You got some more? Oh, con, con. If you don't mind, I just want to get that word uh, hasten real quick in the regular dictionary. Yeah, fix your phone too, because you sound kind of muzzled. How do I sound right now? Say something. How do I sound right now? You sound a little bit better. Huh. Well, if you don't mind, if I could get the word haste in the regular dictionary real quick, it reads excessive speed or urgency of movement or action, a hurry. Right. Somebody get that uh, Isaiah 11 and, uh, Isaiah 11 and 2. Let's that's, that's yeah. go over the scriptures, man. Uh, I got that Isaiah. Can I brown one real quick right before that? Because he said uh, the word study goes into give diligence. That, that reminds me of Second Peter. Uh, Second Peter 1 and 10, wherefore the rather brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if you do the, if you do these things, ye shall never fail. So that goes into studying, man. If you study the word, you're gonna you're gonna abide in the truth. Because Yahweh shows the word. But this is Isaiah 11, and I'm gonna start it too. And the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai shall rest upon him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of Yahweh, and shall make him of quick understanding in the fear of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Now go back to that definition, what it says. This is the point of the matter that in Isaiah 3 was to make you of quick understanding. We don't have all day the, the, the ask 99 questions, man. We don't have all day, because I'm going to tell you straight. When I was first coming in, the elders clearly made this, made this, you know, made this statement, man. Before you come and ask me what this mean, what that mean, have you put a for the effort to find it out first, man? When you put out, when you exhaust yourself in trying to find out this question or this answer to something, you couldn't do it. Hey, hey, apostle, hey, uh, elder, I didn't try to find this out. I only got to this part. Can you help me out with the with the rest? That shows me you put for the effort into finding out your answer, but you you didn't get there all the way. Then the man will come in and help you. And get you all the way there where you need to, man. But you got certain guys so lazy, all right, so so lazy that they don't even want to try, man. Hold on, real quick. Hold on. Right Hold on. Yeah, if I could just say this, um, you you actually have a precept. Let me read it real quick. The Second Timothy two and twenty three. But foolish and unlearned questions avoid, knowing that they do gender stripes. So it's actually a commandment to avoid foolish and and unlearned questions. That's a commandment from Apostle Paul. So, you know, you have this idea in the world that there's no such thing as a stupid question. That's not in the scriptures. The scriptures say avoid foolish and unlearned questions because why? They just, they, they cause strife. If somebody's coming to a, a YouTube channel of the Hebrew Israelites preaching the kingdom of heaven and you ask a question like, can all people be saved? What about John 3.16? What about the white man? That's a foolish and unlearned question. The only, the only reason you're asking that, well, let me read it again. Second Timothy 2 and 23, but foolish and unlearned questions avoid 
knowing that they do gender strikes. The only reason you asking a question like that is to cause strife, man. It's not because you want genuine edification. The search bar is right there if you really want to know what John 316 means, man. I'm gonna say this to you young brothers, man. Most of the times, and this this is through the spirit, man. When the spirit dealing with you, sometimes you want to ask a, uh, a elder brother, a brother in the camp, a question. Sometimes you just sit back. The spirit of heaven to where a man of the Lord brings that brings that particular question up without even having you to ask it. Sometimes all it takes, like I said, your eight hundred dollar phone, thousand dollar phone that you have right in your pocket. All you gotta do. We we dealing with the, the age of the age of, of information. All it takes is you to punch stuff in history. All it takes you to go on YouTube and put in GMS John three sixteen, and you'll find out everything you need to know, man. Hey, if if I can say real quick, Elder, that's the spirit because um, a brother had asked me, a, a young brother coming into this truth had asked me the issue on the on the fallen angels and the Nephilim and all that, and I gave him some precepts and everything, and then. Come to find out a week earlier, uh, the elder Yashulama did a whole hour and a half long video breaking it down in, in, in grace and clarity. So I sent the brother that. So, hey, as the, as the elder brother just said, hey, the, if the, the spirit's moving and it'll put the spirit on another brother to go into that topic, it'll break down any question you have. So just simply use that YouTube search bar and everything you need is right there. Yeah. But go go back to uh, you, you you did study now go to the other word. Con, you mind if I get the Strong's definition for study real quick because that's got a, a lot of good stuff in it too. All right, go ahead. This is the the Strong's definition for that word "swabazo" or study to use speed, i.e., to make effort. To make what? To make effort. Yeah, you got Jake so lazy. They don't even want to make an effort. They're too lazy enough to even go search. They want other men to do the hard, hard lifting for them. That's a problem, man. All right? That's a problem, especially in this day and age where things are happening speedily, man. You got to find out this information for yourself, man. You have to get it in your head. This is the truth, man. And the only way that happens when you're searching and you're laboring, you can see it in black and white when it says... When it says ham, this like this just pick the word ham, and it says uh the progenitor of the you know, not the progen what is it the negro uh, not the negroes, you ain't gonna find it out. You ain't gonna find it out in the Jonathan Pictorial Bible Dictionary unless you search for it. You right. hear it all day a man bring up uh uh, uh Deuteronomy twenty eight chapter verse uh, sixty eight about the slave ships. You can hear us bring out ham all day. You just a parrot. But until you go look it up, all right, and this is one of the books you need too, man. You can find this book right here for, you know, pennies on a dollar, man. Let me see. You might have some. Yeah. All right. They got all type of information in this book, man. On some uh, information on top of information, all right? And then, like I said, I'm bringing this out because... You know, for those who are being lazy, it's sad that you got to do this. And also, it's, it's edifying to the ones who don't know, all right? This is why it's coming out tonight, man. All right? Like I said earlier, you go, on the way you, you you believe, and it's hardwired in your head that this is true when you do stuff like this. You go to the word, like I brought up Ham, all right? The, the, uh, the youngest son of Noah, probably born 96 years before the flood, and one of eight persons to live through the flood. He became the, the progenitor of the Negro races, all right, of the dark races, not the Negroes, man. The only way you believe, like, damn, this in black and white, it's right here. Because I remember when I first seen that, I'm like, oh, yeah, the white man's full of shit, you know? But if you just run here letting somebody tell you, 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 you know more, you know better than the person in the church, man, that just believe what pastors say all day, man. Got to preach up that word. But give me that. Uh, let me go back to that brother and get them definitions out of the way. If we can hit it, man. Con, con. Real quick, back in the Strong's definition to make effort, be prompt or earnest, do or give diligence, be diligent, endeavor, labor, study. Labor, study, diligence, man. You can't be lazy in this thing, man. If you be lazy, you just a guy that just going going through with emotion. It's gonna show. It's gonna show. It's gonna ooze out of your ass, man. 
people gonna see your half ass if that's even a word you know sound like a, a, a pup daddy your half assedness man people gonna see it and it this is say because i didn't seen a lot of guys so called been in the truth nine years five years four years but their half assedness is, is on display you can see that they can't bullshit another bullshit a guy that's been around they bullshit it but when he got in the truth he put forth the effort to learn diligently the word you can't bullshit another man it's going to it's going to show five years in nine years in you don't know who a polyon is in the scriptures but you but you banking on you banking on your years in the truth you just been you just been carried man on another man's back you need came to camp pull up a sign and just sit there all day but when you're a pro you get a, a real teacher to probe you ask you questions follow up see if you paid attention then it, it really shows man you got to be serious about this thing man all right now give me that other word huh uh, this is the word dividing it's strong g3718 strong g3718 or about the mayo to cut straight to cut straight ways to proceed on straight paths hold a straight course equivalent to doing right to make straight and smooth to handle the right to teach the truth directly and correctly yeah man you can't you can't never get to that by bullshit all right and you gotta have in order to, in order to get to that, that that's why we're going through i'm showing some of these books tonight the basis of books that you need because you can't you can't do a job that need to be done with a uh, with a ratchet with a goddamn uh a screwdriver man you need the proper tools around you in order to learn to get to that plateau man you need, you need to do like take this information down man i'm gonna put these books up there again and take down the take down the wisdom and the experience that brothers giving you tonight. You can't get to that that plateau by bullshit. When I when I want when I was on different uh conference calls with elders and apostles and different men giving out information, or even even the videos you see the elders and apostles were doing back then. It, one video was ten minutes, but it took me three hours because I'm constantly stopping, writing down what he say, putting this down, putting that down. All right, I, I put myself in a in a in a in a room just by myself. The babies are gone, the woman is gone, all those elements of distractions is out the damn way, man. All right, so that's why you hear you hear a certain brother going into something deep, all right. Four out, he got he got that way by applying himself, man. All right. So, like I said, the, the last past books we brought out for those who just tuning in, like I said, you need your strongs. And like I said, this is this before this book here was before uh Blue Letter, man. <laughs> we have Blue Letter going back a couple of years back, man. All right. Strong. Like I said, for those guys be out there bullshitting, not even having a King James, man. You got the old hit Harry Tuckman Bible, man. You need a King James Bible, man. Putting up all crazy shit, man. You need a King James, all right? King James Bible, all right. You need your apocrypha, man. All right. You need your apocrypha, man. So let's let's go. Yeah, that's another one. The Zonovan. Now you got that Zonovan pectoral Bible, big dictionary the brothers putting up. That's a compact, that's a compact version of it. You got the big boy. This the this the this the one we had back then, man. Right, this this one we had back then. You gotta you gotta apply yourself, man. All right, you have to apply yourself. You can't you can't sit there and ride on the other uh, the elders and apostles, uh, the, the head of your camp. You just can't ride on that man's back in order to learn. You gotta go and get it for yourself, man. Got something for you. Right? What about that brother get sick? What about that brother? Uh, you know something happens, man. Oh well, where the brother the brother you know. Something happened. You know, the Lord took the brother in. The Lord took the brother in. I guess I'm gonna just sit here. No, man. You got some way, though. Yeah, I got two for you actually. 
um this uh, revelations one and third one and three it said blessed is he that read it and that they hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein for the time is at hand man read that again man that's heavy it's a tell a woman to the brother a ties a pot y'all about shine with sharp brother tell the woman brother it says uh revelations one and three blessed is he that readeth and that they hear that yeah, they it's, hear it's, the words it said blessed is he that read it man how else you read you have to apply yourself and read it man all right you have to apply yourself and read it and that, and that, that effort takes you Nobody else can do that for you, man. You have to do it. You have to sit there, put yourself in a, in a, a remote environment, and you got to read these scriptures, man. And whatever you don't understand, you have to take that back to, to those those men that's uh over you and ask the question, hey, I put forth the effort in trying to find this. I couldn't. Can you Now can you direct me the right way? That's how you learn, man. You can't just, you can't just be the lazy... I'm, I'm, I'm keep hitting the point because I'm honing, I'm honing it in because you have these lazy ass jakes, man, all on the comment board. All right, you got these lazy ass jakes that come out to the camp as a student. You got these lazy ass jakes in the camp. I'm gonna get to my five years, but that brother gonna carry me on his back though. I'm gonna get. That's how I'm gonna get there. No, no, it don't happen that way, partner. But yet you want to be you want to be like the apostles. You want to be like Elder Tahar, Elder Ramla. You ain't gonna get that way. And let me tell you something too, man. This is an old saying within within GMS, man. You know, the head of your camp, that brother may be deep. The apostles, you know, they're real deep. You know, but you'll never be on another man's level because when that man gets to his level, whatever level you think he's on, when you finally get there, he's on a whole other level, man. So just worry about yourself, man. Worry about yourself and build yourself up. Stop bullshitting, man. Because when you around, I'm gonna say this. Because every 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 uh every camp head that you see, they ain't just a camp head because you know that somebody pulled a name out of, out of out of a lottery, man. The most high himself set those men up. All right, the, the brothers you see that's in different orders in the camp, they, they name them plot no lottery, man. Those men, okay, those men were selected. By the most high man and guess what you're around other sharks man brother see your bullshit man brother see you bullshit you ain't serious you fucking around you can't you can't you can't pull a wool over uh, you know the, the men in the lord's eyes man we see that you ain't reading applying yourself all right you asking you asking baby questions and shit and then ain't nothing wrong with that you no know, don't be scared to ask ask, uh, ask questions but hey don't don't come pulling my leg either but go ahead. Let me let, let me. Like I go all day on that, man. Go ahead. I was, go ahead. Gonna, I was gonna get that word. Read it. Read it in the in the Strong's. Mm -hmm. right. It's uh. Strong's G three fourteen. Anagnosco. 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 It says to distinct to distinguish between, to recognize, to know accurately, to acknowledge, to read. Yeah. To what? To read. And to read. Also to, to, to know accurately, you know? Yeah, and we're we we're, we're about learn knowing things accurately. We ain't about hey the men of GMS, we not like those other camps out there, man. We're not into the winging game. We ain't about winging shit, man. We want to know time, places, uh uh names, dates. All right, we in that game. We ain't about winging because you got a lot of wing masters out here in, the, in, in some camps, man. Jake be pulling shit all out their ass, man. All right, we want to know. We are men that's in the know, man. We want to know what it really hit, what it's hitting for, man. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a, hey, hey, get the the, the brother Tazapa. Another elder brother uh, Tazapa. He have a, a good one. It's uh, uh, Second Peter's one and ten. Somebody get that for him. I got it. This is spirit. We were already ready. <laughs> yeah, that's spirit. Yeah, he just, you know, he just coming in. He pulled it, man. You know, this is Second Peter one and ten. Wherefore, the rather brethren give diligence. To
to make your calling and election sure. If you do these things, you shall never fail. Yeah, you, you, you do these things. You apply yourself in that in that light manner. You should never fail. You should never fall off, man. All right. You want to be one of these guys? I, I heard a guy one time, man. It's man, it's shit. Bo you know, it's boring. You keep calling the same day, man. The, the truth never changed, man. All right. The truth is repetitious. All right, and you have to apply yourself. That's a, that's another that cat. He's no longer with us. And that cat was lazy, man. All right, I'm gonna pull out another book that you know back then. You know, and, and like I say, if you want, uh, you want to get on the level because you have to know period. You have to know these uh different time periods, man. The Babylonians, the Persians, the Greeks, the Romans. You have to know these time periods, man. As a man of the Lord, all right. If somebody come and ask you who King Darius is, you, hey man, you you gotta know who King Darius is, man. All right, you gotta know who uh Julius Caesar is, Alexander the Great. You gotta know this, man. Yep, this Nebuchadnezzar. Book, yeah, Nebuchadnezzar. This this is another book that we had that you need as as a young man growing in the truth. You need this book right here. All right, and I'm gonna say this: this book has some bones in it. All right. It has bones in it, man, but it has a lot of meat, too. All right. You brothers write that down, man. You young men out there, they're just coming in. You, you write this down, man. This is detrimental. The Josephus. You need the Josephus, man. Got an extra one for you. Just wanted to get this, this, this next one real fast. Just, right, uh, just Proverbs 8 and 33 and uh, a couple, couple verses. Uh, 8 and 33, it says, hear instructions and be wise and refuse it not. Blessed is the man that heareth me, watch it de watching daily at my gates, waiting at the post of my doors, for whosoever findeth me and findeth life shall obtain favor of the Lord. You know? Yeah, and, yeah. Go ahead, Finn, make your point, huh? Because you're in the spirit. Go ahead. Like, uh, what you're doing is of the spirit of the law. You instruction, you instructing brothers in the proper way to be wise, you know, you're telling them if they were. Oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Hey, uh, Kaya, give me that one about wearing up the doorsteps of, of a, a wise man because that goes in an album, you know. But go ahead, make, make your point, uh, Aria. Yeah, but it, it also going to bless the man that heareth me watching daily. You know, you're supposed to be watching this thing daily, constantly coming back to that well, man. You know, the Lord has made it to well. We can eat abundantly, you know, like nonstop damn near. Like yeah. without a doubt, all the men that you subscribe to, it's videos constantly, constantly, constantly being done. We probably not the only brothers doing a live stream right now, you know? Yeah. And the most high yeah. through the elder apostles, man. You know, you always had a, a great a great eating at the at the buffet that they've been cooking, man. They've been cooking it since uh, 2007, man. These other camps, they give you, a, they give you a half-assed meal, and they go, they go uh, missing for three months, two years. The apostles been giving out plenty, of, plenty of uh, good meals, man. But the thing is, are you eating? Are you feeding that spiritual man? Are you feeding that, you know, that old man? Oh man, you got it. Oh man, y'all brothers got me giving the one about can't remember. Oh, you got to give me that one. You got it, the one in the pocketbook. That's the rock 15 and 8. Yeah, because you had guys, you had, you know, I'm gonna get on it when it comes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm gonna get on it when it comes. It got to come out, man. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. But what the one what the one I told that brother Ho? This uh Sirach 6, and um, I'll start at 34, the point at 36. It says, Stand in the multitude of elders and cleave unto him that is wise. Be willing to hear every godly discourse and let not the peril. Parables of understanding escape thee. Yeah, and it, hey man, you gotta be there. The, the 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 head of your camp is set up for a reason, man. All right, like I said, that man ain't that man ain't ain't uh go to the to the convenience store and, and ask, can I uh, can I put my name in a raffle, uh, you know, a lottery? And he was selected selected like that. No, the most high set that man up in that position. So use him, but use him wisely, though, man. All right, don't go over here because I know I know about young Jake. Jake will go over here, ask a ask an older brother in the camp, what this mean? The brother I give it to him. 
Then you go over here. Then you go over here next to the, the, the head of your camp. What that mean? No, you don't. You don't do things like that, man. You know, you you, you deal straight and you deal with, with a man of the Lord wisely, man. All right, and you deal with him in the, in a sense of you hearing everything. And sometimes you might not understand what a what a what an older brother is talking about or break it down to you. All right, but you got to give it time, man. You got to give it time. Sometimes, sometimes a head of a camp or an older brother could be real deep to you on on a matter, a common matter in the, in the camp. It could be a matter of the truth, or it could be basic information that you don't understand. Just give it time. All right. But go ahead, Doc. You got some more meat in that thing. Yeah, it says this thirty six. <clears throat> and if thou seest a man of understanding, get thee be times unto him, which means early. Youthfully, you know, as as an early in the day, that the beginning of the day, meaning if you be with him in the beginning, you're gonna automatically be with him at night. <laughs> Once y'all yeah. cleave together and come together, it says, and let thy foot wear the steps of his door. Hmm. Yeah, so when you in the when you in the you in the really all stages, man, even when you all the way so-called built up, you still supposed to be in the stage of always learning, man. The other apostles been 30 some going on 40 years in the truth and they're still in the process of learning all right they yeah. even though they're not they're not no novice but they're always learning always you know congregating with each other so when you're in that when you're in a stage of you just learning out learning or as, as a novice you're supposed to be in a stage of a sponge man you gathering information soaking it up soaking it up soaking it up and you wrong men that can give it to you i'm not wrong no knucklehead man I'm around the brothers. Oh, I'm around the brothers the two the two hours for camp and the one hour for fellowshipping, but the rest of my time is devoted to knuckle brain niggas, man. No, you don't get it like that, man. Cause all that other two hours of, of studying with you, and then you get the rest of your time to this nigga over here, that shit going out your head. You know, then you're not writing it down. Cause that's another thing for you young cats out there, man. And like I said, this 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 blessing tonight is really for you. All right, when you come to camp, man, you better have a pen and a pad. You better have, if, if you don't have a pen and a pad, you better have the whole goddamn camp on recording or something, man. All right, a, a, a simple a simple video that's an hour long should at least take you down there to a uh, day or two. I know it took me a, on a 10 minute video back then in 07, 08, 09, 010, and continue it, it takes me. An hour or two just to get through a video when they're bringing out heavy information about the Roman Empire. I want to get down names, places, all of that. That's how you should be, man. Don't bullshit yourself, it's going to be on display. I got you, something, Mark. I yeah, got go ahead, man. Okay. And I'm speaking from experience, I'm speaking from experience, not only for myself and also for what I've seen from other cats' failures, man. One of the bullshit. Through this, through this thing of ours, man. You bullshit yourself. It's gonna be on display, my man. Some one, one, one of these, one of these uh, so-called Christians, uh, you know. Because when I was in Houston, man, you to have, you to have professors and shit passed by the camp. All right, you better be on point. All right, but go ahead, Doc. Right, Con. This uh, Acts seventeen and on um, ten, it says, and the brethren immediately sent away Paul and Silas by night unto Berea. And the understanding, you brothers get the understanding with Paul and Silas. Paul was a master teacher, all right. So was uh, and so and so Silas was a high, uh, uh, you know, high end teacher too. It says by night unto Berea, who coming to the went into the synagogue of the Jews. These were more noble than those in Thessalonica, and that they received the word with all readiness of mind. Yeah, and search the scriptures daily whether those things were so. So they applied themselves to studying and being ready, which ready the ready goes into diligence, which I'm gonna bring out. It's forwardness, all right. You you wanna make a point, Elder? No, no, no. I'm trying to find something to back you up real fast. Right. So and they searched them. Uh, they searched the scriptures daily whether the uh those things that they told them was so. So once they heard something, they didn't just take the nacho. Okay, you know what? This man is right because the elders and we find ourselves other priests in the camp. We I didn't heard brothers clear. Hey, look, don't believe me. 
go and search it yourself. You know, brothers that gave you that opportunity. Like, look, we leave the window open. Let's just say we're not just say we're not telling the truth, but let's just say you don't want to cleave to what we saying. Are you not a person who just hear what you say and mimic it or, or mock it? We telling you, okay, don't just listen. Go and research to see if these things are so. And that's what the, the Bereas did. All right. There was men that received the word with all readiness of mind. You see? Because you don't let nobody in the world tell you anything. You don't let nobody come back, man. You know the Lord coming back in 2022, huh? You're gonna be like, well, where they say that shit at? Well, right. well, what it yeah, you gonna, you know, you gonna even if you go to worldly things, you're not gonna just take what anybody tell you in the world and just be like, you know what, that sounds good, it is good, it's right, man. All right, so how much more the knowledge to save you or put you to debt, man? All right, you got to take that much more uh, assurance into it, man. And I got another one. If you want to make a point, go ahead. Hey, I'm, hey, I'm a Y. Hold on, deck for me. Uh, Acts eight. It started. It started about twenty eight. I want you to read down to thirty three in a minute. But go ahead with your other. What, what you had? Right. This one a little lengthy, but this 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 going straight into it. And this eight because. Hey, the elders and brothers, we labor and, and y'all supply, right? We labor and y'all supply, which we supply y'all with the things we excel in giving. So y'all should excel in receiving. Meaning when we when we do put in that work, what brothers don't know, we go into conference calls, brothers deal, brothers, man, what about this timeline? Things that's off, off, off M that brothers don't know about, all right? That we congregate and build each other up. Man, you know about this, or we put a lesson together. This brother bring information from this timeline. You know, this brother got that. This brother got the precepts. So we are all working together. So we're supplying y'all want. All right. So in return, hey, y'all should give us back on, on the demand of it. Meaning what? The Lord set us up that way. All right. And this goes into it. Go ahead. I'm gonna say this because like the people say iron sharpening iron, man. Yep. I tell you, I tell these men in the camp with me. Everything I know, I want you to know. That and more, man. All right? And like I say, the men in the camp, you should also see them growing, man. I know brothers I know brothers that didn't know where Deuteronomy was at, that didn't know what Desclone was at. Now, look at them now. Once you, don't you deal and, 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 and learn correctly, the man is a sharp weapon, man, when it comes to the scriptures, all right? You don't, you don't get to being a sharp weapon all right, and show up in the mind with these scriptures by bullshitting, man. Being half-assed. It's a lot of half-assed jinks out there, man. It's a lot of half-assed jinks in the, in the camp and around the camp, man. And, and it, like I said, if you don't stop that shit, the most I gonna gonna uh spew you out, man. You're gonna be thrown on display. That's why you know I try to, you know, just like the apostles of heart shows the example, them guys that's around, I, I even try to keep you sharp. Guy asks a question, I'm like, hey, you know what that what that mean? See if you're paying attention, man. All right. But go ahead. Right. We're not gonna be blamed for your slothfulness, meaning because we gave you the word diligently with all readiness. You know, we receive your question. Because hey, if there's nobody else, bro, these brothers are witnesses alone with me. Bro, any question somebody asks us concerning these this Bible, if we don't answer you. We answer you on the next uh, thing. We got to go gather the information, get it, whatever. We going to answer you, bro, according to the scriptures. All right? So now there's no excuse for your lack of necessity of want, man. You see? But this 2 Corinthians hey, chapter. Before you before you, before you, you start, now all y'all brothers my witness, they had a clown come out to the camp one time that said some wild, crazy shit about King James, man. What you brothers yep. seen me go do? Yeah, we'll research it up. Look it up. up. Yep. To believe it wasn't so, to yeah. know that it wasn't so against him, man. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, it wasn't so. His mama didn't have sex with him. His mama was in jail. Yeah, yeah I was like, yeah, his mama was in jail. He was three majority years old, of the man. time, man. Yeah, because this this guy, this particular guy, came out and said that King James had sex with his mother. Fuck right, off. I said that, that wasn't true. I asked him to, to produce his cause. He didn't want to deal. He got back in the car and drove off. Then he came back the following week. But then, then when I left the camp. Hour oh, well, two hours in getting home, I'm up there. I'm punching the I'm punching the computer. Oh 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 this. Oh all right. I, I'm, I'm ready for the nigga now. What's up? Then he come back. He ain't want he ain't want no smoke coming back, man. 
But you don't find these things out without looking up, man. But go ahead, like, like I said, I just had right. to bring that example out, man. This second Corinthians chapter eight, verse one, it says, I speak not by commandment, but by occasion of forwardness. Grab that word forwardness for me on uh on I'm a wide Baba Gasha, because I'm gonna read down because the brothers then the brothers after this video, if y'all is watching. Y'all must read this chapter right here. It's, it's a necessity. All right? It says, I speak not by commandment, by occasion of forwardness. All right? Because he brought out 2 Peter 1 and 10 with that diligence. It says, of others. So this is the forwardness or the diligence of others. This is Paul putting you on his mindset. All right? It says, and to prove the sincerity of your love, man. All right? So if this... You know what brothers have a passionate zeal in which I'm going to do a video, Lord willing, since we own that, I'm going to go into that zeal, all right? All right, the 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 the, the um the zeal. I'm going to do it when we get off, you know, Lord willing, when we get off this um lesson. But it says, to prove the sincerity of your love. And what is your love? That's your care for the scriptures. Because when you love something, you treasure it. All right, where a man treasure it, that's where his heart would be also. All right, that's where your diligence would be. It says... For ye know that the grace of our 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 Lord, the Mashiach, our Shah, that though he was rich, yet for your sakes he became poor, that ye through his poverty might be rich. So he came to, to labor for us that we could get it and be there more abundantly, man. All right. Not only just that we would get it, but that we would excel in getting it, man. So he excelled in giving it. We have to excel in, in getting it. It says, and herein I give my advice. Okay, so now let's lock in. For this is expedient for you. Something that expedient for you is wise for you. All right? It's needful for you. Okay? It says, who have begun before, not only to do, but also to be forward a year ago. Now, therefore, perform the thing of it. So perform the thing of which you labor for or want to or wanna receive. You got to perform the thing in it. All right, you gotta be uh, uh active, man. Proactive in what you're doing. Make a point. No, 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 no. I'm gonna listen to you. It <laughs> says that there uh now therefore perform the thing of it, doing the doing of it, that as there was a readiness to will. All right, so you gotta have the readiness to will yourself to do it. Stay up long nights, you know. It's times you know you don't want to read, or you're reading. And it may be something you can understand, but it seems like you got to repattern yourself for reading it, man. Like, let me read that again and make sure I caught it correctly. Let me make sure he ain't talking about us, not the heathen, all right? Uh, the heathen and not us, all right? It says, uh, so that there may be a performance also out of that which he have. So you could get the, reap the benefits of what you performing, man. All right? To get the to reap the rewards of you studying, man. And you get to know something and learn something in the scriptures and you can wheel it on and wheel and deal it because you, you went studying and searched it. It said, you want to bring that on point out? Uh, I don't know why I bring it out, the forwardness. It's, yeah. This is beautiful, man, because it's when you read forwardness here in 2 Corinthians 8 and 8, the root the word here is uh, spude, which is haste, earnestness, diligence to give all <laughs> diligence. And this word spude is the root word of spudazo, which is study in 2 Timothy 2 and 15. So when you read this, it says, I speak not by commandment, but by occasion of the forwardness of others, meaning Apostle Paul is writing to the men that show diligence. He's answering their questions because they have diligent questions and because they've been diligent in the spirit. He wants to keep feeding their faith, man. Yeah. It's, sure. beautiful. it's, the, it's the same root word for study, the forwardness. You got it. Right. right. Is I would do it in the distribute to the necessity of the saints. Now we don't know if the, the men that's not in this thing are not the saints. So we gotta have the same like duty or the zeal or the passion to uh uh, uh receive those brothers as we receive our our brothers that's on uh cross that cross the threshold with us, man. Because we don't know who servants this is the Lord's service. You got it out real quick. This second Timothy two. And I'm going to start at the top. Second Timothy 2 and 1. There, thou therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Amashiach Yahawashai, and the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also. 
Choose right, right. brothers that are diligent because those men will then be, get built up and they'll be able to teach others. Like you have some right. zealous brothers right now that are coming out and, and six months from now, they'll be able to break down, you name it, man, the whole gospel. Cause right. we're about to get shut down real soon. The Lord's about to, to just scatter everybody, man. So you have to, you have to put yourself in the mind state that look, I might be in a concentration camp somewhere. I might be in a city by myself. We say this all the time. Every time you walk into a department store or a large building, you're the only man in that that entire building that knows the name of the Lord and the will of the Lord, man. So every man of the Lord needs to be prepared to to be in a leadership mentality. You can't, like the elders been saying, you can't be in the camp five years and your whole understanding of the truth is based on this man over here calling, no. a, calling y'all. You know, give me this precept, give me that precept. No, you have to know those yeah. precepts. We, we, we yeah. you, you may you may be nowhere near your camp here when all hell breaks loose. You you've been in the camp five years and you don't know the truth. That's that's a black man. That's a foul blot on man. You got it up. I'm gonna say this. Another thing, when when an older brother in the camp, all right, that's of a rank or whatever, this an older brother that's you know bringing it out. You be the you you supposed to be knocking down another brother, man, to read, man. All right, you you're supposed to be knocking down another brother to read, man. And one way you learn these scriptures, man. One way you learn. Like, look, like, like right now, bro. Like right Boy. now. Just just keep teaching. Just keep teaching, I right? just yeah, keep like, teaching. You know, I, I, I just keep teaching, I right? like I say, man. The way you the way you find out, you know, how to how to actually master the scriptures, man. You be the guy that always be counted first or want to be first to I'm gonna read for this brother. And them same precepts he calling out, I'm gonna I'm gonna master him, get him down. Yeah, um, remember, that's how you remember the scriptures, man, by being a guy that's wanna read, being a guy that's wanna uh Actually, want to teach because all your and all your uh, exorbitant descriptions and information in now got to be displayed. You got to go up against something. That's why the Lord yep. tell you about being a contender. You got to go find somebody to fight up against, man. And who and who we fight up against? All right, out there on the block, man. These scoffers, these scorners, these so-called Christians, these so-called uh, know-it-all niggas. You got to put it on display. All right. You don't do that by being the, the guy in the back of the camp. Everything going, everybody over there, you in the back, you just chilling. You quiet as hell. All right. You you you, you passive aggressive. You it's nothing, it's nothing, it's nothing about I gotta get it a mentality, man. Hey, even hey, I'm gonna bring it to a worldly sense. Even when they say back in the world, you know, I had to go to the Nike Combine for football. All right. You could call you know, they went to calling names and shit then. They went to saying whoever come up here first, that's who we, you know, we throwing the ball at. I was knocking niggas down, get to the front, get to the front. Go. Next thing I'm going again with another damn face, man. Hell with them niggas. I'm gonna get it, man. I'm trying to get it. But that's how you, you know. I ain't I'm saying it in, in a, a playful sense. But when you're in them camps, man, you gotta be you can't the guy that's just coming in and learning, you gotta be knocking down, then that knocking down brothers, man, to read for the elder of the camp. All right. The elder the camp be talking to you. Hey, I got it right here, elder. You know, I got it right here. Uh, you know, older brother, whatever, man. That's how you learn. All right. What did what it say? Uh, it's a worldly sense to say that the guy, the quiet guy, is finished last or something like that, man. You know, you gotta, you gotta, you got to want to get it, man. That's that readiness. <laughs> That's that readiness of mind, man. That's that will of readiness. I got a little more. I, yeah, go yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I got a little more. Like, like, this is just hey, must needs be to come out, man. Hey, hey, give me that, give me that other scripture because I have another one loaded right here. Uh, 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 Raya, give me the one with Gamilia because you think you think you think when Gamilia was teaching Paul, Paul was bullshit. No, you do you think do you think when um when Yahushua's mother went to find him that he was in the, in the temple with them them noble men, them priests. Them elders bullshit? No. And give me that, give me that uh that particular scripture too, man, as an example. I got it. You gotta lay, you gotta put away the bullshit, man. All right, you gotta put away the bullshit and really dive in deep. What you gonna do when they cut off all these lights, all this computer shit, and it's on you now, man? All right. But go ahead, brother. Like I said, we're gonna get there. Right, come on. This uh there. back at 12. Hey, I'm a while, Baba Gashab. You can hold on deck, Mac. Second Maccabees chapter 2, verse 24 and 25. 
It says, uh, this 12, it says, for if there first, if there be first a willing, a willing mind, it is accepted according to that a man had it and not according to that which he had not because it's accepted because of what, what, to what, uh, the, those teachers that they are uh, distributing towards you, man. So you have all the things you need. You need you. We giving you the utensils to work. We can't work for you. All right. You got to work. All right. To, to help our job make be easier. Also, it says, for I mean, not that other men be eased and ye be burdened. You see, because you can burden us by not uh, 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 actually getting the questions, uh, doing a diligent search. All right. Or uh, uh, doing more research or uh, asking blame questions or uh, uh, repetitive questions. You burn teachers now, man. You see? I'm going to say this. Says, I'm going to say this because, see, this video really tonight was about guys like you on the comment board. Uh, lights out, man. 12. And, man, you need to put this on replay. You, you need you need to go, go to sleep with this video on, man. All right? Because you're one of these guys we're talking about, bro. Like I said, keep going, though, man. Yeah, it's by the it's this 14. And it's uh I got just one more and we get it. It says, but by an equality, <laughs> you see, by an equality, that now at this time your abundance may be a supply for their want. That their abundance also may be a supply for your want. That there may be equality, man. As we giving it. Excelling and giving, you should be excelling and receiving it, man. Likewise to us, we have to do the same things, and we still doing those things. All right, we're not perfect. We still learning. All right, we stand corrected on things. You know, so the the, the supply of our want should match the uh, resemble or uh, uh, be a, a mirror should mirror the supply of your want, man. You see, because, because we shouldn't be to the point of teaching you. John three sixteen, uh, the virgin birth, all these, all these, all this milk, and then three months, from, three months, you're still on the same level. Four months from now, five, seven months, you're still on the same level. That's a problem, man. Yeah, five years yeah, on five the same years. level. I see guys five years, it's like their first date, man. You ask them a question, all right? Give me four scriptures on who, uh, who the Lord died for. Jake up there. Oh, oh, um, um, no, nah, you bullshit. It should, you should be like a well armed machine, man, pumping them out. And I'm gonna say this not only pumping them out, but you pumping them out with understanding, man, because you got a lot of guys out here that be pumping out 900, 900 damn precepts, but don't have no understanding of the precepts, man. Don't have no understanding of the breakdowns, man. You got that factor that you got to bring in, too. I got that, huh? Yeah, and give me give me that uh I want to get that axe out the way because the axe go into it. I want that axe first and then jump into that uh Proverbs four and seven. Yeah, but all I get and get understanding. Whatever you got, go though. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna we gonna hey man, we're gonna hurt some feelings tonight, man. We're gonna get that guy to slow down. We're gonna get that. Like I can say Jake gonna get their feelings hurt tonight, though, man, in a good way. Go ahead. What, what you want first? Whatever I got a bunch of tab number tabs open. I number scriptures. Well, hold you need. This is what I want to do. Hold that action that proverb. Y'all bring out what y'all got to bring out. Let's get that out the way first. And then we I, gonna, we're gonna keep pushing. Bring that second mag of bees out, then I'm done. Right? Because this is it's it's a thing of equality, man. Listen, y'all brothers, hey, y'all brothers actually uh give us the the the, the willpower to, to constantly want to learn and get it. To to inform y'all, man. All right, because that's 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 way we hey we're we're potentially winning souls here, man. Going back to Proverbs. So hey, it's our love, okay, to fulfill that that will of the most high, man. You see, there's a glory in that. Go ahead. Yeah, we're flipping our talents, man. We're they flipping our up. talents, man. They're helping us flip our talents. Right. Man. They're helping us flip our talent, y'all. Go ahead. This is uh, second Maccabees chapter two, verse twenty-four. For considering the infinite number and the difficulty which they find that desire to look into the narrations of the story for the variety of the matter, we yep. have been careful that they that will read may have delight and that they that are desirous to commit to memory 
Y'all can go back. Re Listen, start over. Wait, yeah. start over. I can slow down. Please hit the commas. All right, real quick. Go ahead, 24. I say hit the commas. All right, Con. For considering the infinite number and the difficulty which they find that desire to look into the narrations of the story for the variety of the matter. Right, because the, the infinite number is all of books, man. All right, for the variety of the matter, because in a variety of the matter, in a variety of the matter, it comes what? Uh, well, we don't, we misunderstand. I mean, well, it's things that need to be broken down, man, that men may wrestle with or do different type of things. Okay, so uh, that desire to look into the narrations of the story and a variety of the matter, go ahead. Yeah, if I could just add real quick, because Jake might say, well, there's only 80 books, you know, 66 and 14, Apocrypha is a finite amount of books. No, when you read the scriptures, when you read with understanding, you could read the same precept over and over. Another brother will bring light to it. The, the scriptures are infinite, man. You could read the same 10 scriptures a million different ways, man. This is literally an infinite amount of precepts and, and understanding just magnifies. Like the elder said, by the time you get to this level, a brother that was on that level, he's already on another level. So it is infinite. All right, but this is verse 25. Right. Be careful that they that will read might have delight. Right. So they that may read may have delight because we have to understand, we, we, we in the know where the Lord have blessed us, all right, to know that, look, when, you know, when y'all are teaching, y'all have to teach others to be teachers also, man. We're not teaching you to burden off another man, all right? When you, we're, we're teaching to build you up that you may be a teacher. Go ahead. Okay. Galatians 6 and 4. And that they that are desirous to commit to memory might have ease. Right. So they can what? Remember the precepts. Don't uh, Isaiah 28 and 10 and say, for precept must be upon precept, line upon line, hear a little, dare a little. And even with the hear a little, dare a little with the traveling through the scriptures, that's how you get your understanding, which you're going to bring out in Proverbs next. That's how you get, even with the hear a little, dare a little, that goes into those books and certain things the elders have, the elders showed you, man. You see? Go ahead. You got to commit that to memory. You got to know. You got to commit precept. it to memory. This precept goes with this precept. This point backs up this point. Somebody has a question. Oh, this precept answers that question. That's yep. what happens when you're diligent, man. You you get well rounded in the scriptures. You got it. Hey, you finished? Yeah, you got one little line. Read the line and that's it. Come. And that all into whose hands it comes might have profit. That's how you be profitable. Go ahead. You got it, Elder. I want to show before I move on. Cause you brought something to my mind, which which is another learning tool for you brothers, you new you newcoming brothers that don't, you know, that don't know, man. You know how to how to study, how to learn. Somebody go to the, the prelude of Sirach, man. And I want you to go where it says whereas in bold letters. I want you to go where it says halfway down, and it's right in the beginning. I want you to start where it says whereof, not only the readers. I want you to start right there. Whoever get it. You're gonna jump around real fast. It, it, it's telling you, it's giving you uh golden jewels, man. Gems, how you how you learn, how you go about mastering the scriptures, man. Right? I, I think I, I got it. Is please ask these one. Yeah, um, but he's going to the prelude, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, of course. Yeah, where it says where of not only the reader. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, wh wh wherefore let me entreat you to read it. Well, no, I want you to go up. Go up some more. Go over and see where right. Yeah, go. You got it. It's after the semicolon. All right. All right, I got you. I got you. Uh, this, it says, and where, whereof not only the readers must need become skillful themselves, but also they that desire to learn be able to profit them which are without. <laughs> yeah, man. Both by speaking and writing, my grandfather. All right, all right. Now jump down where it says, "Let me entreat you." Go back to that. Now read that to the end. Right. You gotta, you gotta be skillful in, as a reader, man. All right. And and to learn, that's how you you profit in the truth, man. And like I said, you would never get there by climbing on the back of another brother, man, or brothers. You you expecting the brother. To uh, the study for you, you expecting a man, a, a man in the camp, to actually uh, look up things for you. You're gonna be a sad case, man. You know, 
We don't have that long. You say you, you, another two years roll around, you still on you still on square one. All right. I know that book. I know that book is five dollars, ten dollars. But fuck, I'm gonna I'm gonna get it. That shit gonna turn into forever, man. You gotta you gotta want it. All right, you gotta want it, man. I want it like, hey, man. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead, brother. That's on another note. Go ahead, up. It says, wherefore, let me entreat you to read it with favor and attention and and to pardon us wherein... It's talking about the scriptures. It's talking about the scriptures, man. So li listen good, man. Go ahead. It says, wherein we may seem to come short of some words which we have labored to interpret for the, for the same things uttered in Hebrew and translate and translated into another tongue have not the same force in them. Keep going. It says, and not only those things, but, but the law itself and the prophets and the rest of the book have no small difference. Oh, oh, when, oh, go ahead. When they are spoken in their own language. All right, now jump, jump to the next page at the top where it says, I found a book, they found a book of uh, small learning, go ahead. It's giving you gems, man, on how, how you go about you know the scriptures go ahead well at the top of the Ecclesiastes, right above one it says i found a book of no small learning is somebody there somebody get it is somebody already right get it i got it i found a book of no small learning therefore i thought it most necessary for me to bestow some diligence some what diligence and to travail to interpret it you and, and the point of message, I found a book of no small learning. I Meaning, it, it, it's crucial, man. This is a crucial. Uh, uh, this is uh, basically, this is life. This is life and death here, man. All right, go ahead. Using great watchfulness and skill in that space to bring the book to an end and set it forth for them also, which in a strange country are willing to learn. Oh, what? Willing to do what? Willing to learn. Go ahead. Being prepared before in manners to live after the law. Yeah, man. So the point of the matter, you gotta be willing to learn, man. All right. Now give me that. Uh, give me that in Acts. That uh, in Acts as an example. Uh, this is uh, this is Acts chapter eight, um, start at twenty-five, and they. When they had testified and preached the word of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, returned to Jerusalem and preached the gospel in many villages of the Samaritans, which were Israelites. And the angel of the Lord spake unto Philip, saying, Arise and go toward the south unto the way that goeth down from Jerusalem unto Gaza, which is desert. And he arose and went. And behold, a man of Ethiopia, a eunuch of great authority under Candace, queen of the Ethiopians, who had the charge of all her treasure and had come to Jerusalem for to worship. And just to add some understanding, this is an Israelite who was in Ethiopia. It's not an actual Hamite. He came to Jerusalem to worship because he was Israelite, all right? All right. Verse 28, was returning and sitting in his chariot, read Isaiah the prophet. Then the spirit said unto Philip, go near and join thyself to the chariot. And Philip ran thither to him and heard him, and heard him read the prophet Isaiah and said, Understandest thou what thou readest? And he said, How can I, except some man should guide me? And he desired Philip that he would come up and sit with him. God. Keep going. Gone. If I could just add that that readest is the same exact word in Revelation 1 and 3. All right. And a gnosko to understand, to perceive, to know yeah. between. Yeah, but the, the yeah, you need you need you need them both, man. You have to that's it on that. I you you need First, imply yourself as a reader, and you need a man to teach you, to give you understanding. Of it. Like I said earlier, you can't just be sitting out here. You're a, you a precept. You a precept monster. You can throw out all type of precepts all day, willy nilly, but you have no understanding of it, man. 
You know, you're, you're shortchanging yourself. Give me that in Proverbs real fast. God, it's Proverbs 4 and 7. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all thy getting, get understanding. You must get understanding of what you're reading, man. That's why we, when we once was in school, they had something called reading and comprehension. You can read something all day, all up and down, but you got to have uh, comprehension on what you read it, man. That's a must. That's a that's a must, man. Got a precept for you. And, and, and real quick, give me that one in Isaiah about precept upon precept, line up online, because that's that's a that's a uh, a foundation of it too, man. Learning how to learning how to divide the word, how to get understanding. You can't. And that's that's a true statement. I seen one of the brothers earlier on the comment board had put it up there. You know, I guess this was a problem that he was having. All right, when you you read the scriptures, you can't read the scriptures like an Ebony uh, uh, magazine. All right, double XL. It don't go like that, man. To read the scriptures, you gotta go. Sometimes you gotta jump from Genesis to Isaiah to Isaiah to James, so on and so forth, man. Sometimes you have to read line up online. Sometimes your answer is either above. You might have. You might want to deal with this this verse. All right, but all right. Your answer might have been before that particular verse you 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 uh, hung up on. It might be after. Sometimes you got to read the whole the whole chapter, man. All right, but go ahead, Doc. Uh, this is Isaiah twenty-eight. I'm gonna uh, start at verse nine. Whom shall he teach knowledge? Huh. And whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Them that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breasts. Them that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breasts, and that comes with dealing with the. The milk of the scriptures, the easy things, man. All right, when somebody asks you where slavery in the Bible, you you better bet your ass, you better know, man. I go to Deuteronomy. All right, I go here, I go there. That's the milk. All right, certain certain breakdowns are considered milk. You, it's a must that you know that. It's a must that you know certain words. Okay, when I when I when I when I deal with the virgin birth, I gotta remember, I gotta bring out. Isaiah 7 and 14 to emphasize what is what is a true virgin. These are the things that you have to get down in your memory bank, man. Instead of apply yourself, not just learning it, all right, I master it. You got to keep going over it. 13 years in, 14, 15, 20 years in, 25 years in, you still got to go over it, man. All right, because we're in these bodies, man. We're in, we're in this flesh where we forget. All right, we're in this flesh where you know things happen, man. So you gotta constantly apply yourself, all right. Like I said, this is for you young, this is for you younger brothers that don't know no better, man. All right. Which one of you brothers, I think I'm a white had something to say. Yeah, I just wanted to deal with the brother um Mayaka Yahawada. He said it's, it's so overwhelming, he wasn't really sure where to start. And I just wanted to read this real quick while the brother's reading Isaiah 28. This first Peter 2, verse 2. As newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word that ye may grow thereby. Because when you first start watching uh, Great Millstone, particularly, brothers bring out 10, 20, 30 precepts a lesson, and it can be overwhelming. Sometimes, you know, brothers go into spiritual power, or this this particular man came back in the reincarnation. Is this man? You might that that's not really milk. We just we just be in the spirit. So things just you know we teach all manner of, of the scriptures. But you have to start with the basics. When you go into um to Matthew the 17th chapter, you had that uh the transfiguration. Apostle Peter was like, look, we need to we need to make a tabernacle for Moses and Isaiah, or I mean Elijah, Salakia. And the Most High himself said, No, this is my son in whom I'm well pleased. Because Yahweh Shai embodies the law and the prophets. You start with that and then you grow thereby. Start with the law and the prophets. The prophecy is dealing with what's about to happen. All right, scriptures tell you that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Through the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. You need to understand martial law. You need to understand the mark of the beast, which is why we harp on it so much. It's not just because we we just love Re Revelation 13 so much. No, you need to be persuaded that all hell is going to break loose. You need to be persuaded in your own mind that your family is going to be taken into concentration camps. That's going to put you in the mind to be diligent and get into the scriptures. You have to start there. You have to start with a healthy fear of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. You got it. Hey, get, get that one real quick. I'm gonna give it to one of you brothers. Uh, I always bring this out. It's one of my favorites, man. Uh, where I'm at? It's right here. Hold on. Fingers down. Uh, it's right. Hold on. 
is that uh, C rank uh, four and sixteen? No, start at fifteen to be to be on point. Man. Come, so this is Sirach four verse fifteen. Whoso giveth ear unto her shall judge the nations, and he that attendeth unto her shall dwell securely. Come. If a man, so if a man do what? If a man commit himself unto her, which is wisdom, he shall inherit her, and his generation shall hold her in possession. Keep going. For at that first she will walk with him by crooked ways and bring fear and dread upon him and torment her with her discipline until she may trust his soul and try him by her laws. Yeah, man. And that's what the bird was going into. The discipline that the, that the wisdom torment you with sometimes be martial law, the chip. You may see things on TV being displayed, the vaccination uh, being uh, mandated. That's another way the Lord discipline you or wisdom. Because the most high, I'm going to say this, the most high embodies wisdom, man. He created wisdom. So he is wisdom. But this is the way it, it disciplines you into uh, fearing the, the Heavenly Father and getting down in the scriptures, man. All right? Like I said, I, like I, like I, said, I know this is going to hurt, <laughs> hurt some Jake's feelings, man. But if Jake needs to hear this, man. This is too many times I'm seeing... You know, Jake is asking all type of answers now. Ask some far out goddamn questions, man. Or uh, sometimes easy milk milk question that can be uh easily uh researched, man. All right. Got some for you. But keep going. Hold on, hold on, hold on, real fast. I right? go down to twenty. Right? Okay. This is uh back in Sirach four verse eighteen. Then will she return the straight way unto him and comfort him and show him her secrets. But if you go wrong, she will forsake him and give him over to his own ruin. All right, go ahead. Observe the opportunity and beware of evil and be not ashamed when it concerneth thy soul. Yeah. Be not ashamed when it concerneth thy soul. Now, I had this one real fast. This is another way you build up in, in a sense of learning, man. This is uh, the book of uh, Ecclesi uh basically Sirach 39 in Apocrypha. And uh, one, it says, but he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High and is occupied in the meditations thereof. You know, what, 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 when you see people that talk about it, meditate, what they want around when they meditate? They want peace. They want quietness. That's how you get the scriptures, man. All right? That's how you, you, you build up and learn the scriptures. Your woman, your child, your, your mama, the video game, the TV is off, man. You getting down to business, all right? Oh, it's lucky. I, uh, the brother he posted this earlier. Uh, wait, you you in thirty eight or? I'm in thirty nine. Kind of. The brother posted a uh, Sirach thirty and twenty four. The wisdom of a learned man cometh by opportunity of leisure, and he that have little business shall become wise. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah. He posted that earlier. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. It says, uh, meditation uh, will will seek out the wisdom of the of the ancient. And be occupied in prophecy. All right, it says, uh, he will keep the saying of the renowned men and where uh, subtile parables are, he will be there also. All right, he says, he will seek out the secrets of the uh grave sentences and be can can uh and can be conversed in dark parables, man. But like the brother, that other scripture that brother brought out, that's a good one too, man. That's a real good one. All right, you have to, man. We got to do it, man. You know? Um, bring out, I think one of your brothers holding something too, right? Yeah, I got one. Uh, one more verse in that tw Isaiah 28 too. All right, yeah. We'll finish out of Isaiah 28 so we can move on. Con, con. I'll just reread verse 9 again. Whom shall he teach knowledge and whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Them that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breasts. For precept must be upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line hey, upon line. Give me that. Give me that in Psalms. What does it say? Uh, through my precept, I get, I get my learning, or something like that. Yeah. yeah so sometimes you got to jump from precept to precept, get understanding, man. Precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line really means you go on. It's like every scripture got like 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. You got to go line up online sometimes to get a full understanding of what you are uh, seeking out, uh, understanding sometimes, man. 
Yeah, this is uh, Psalms 119, 104. Through thy precepts, I get understanding. Therefore, I hate every false way. Yeah, so through the precepts, you get understanding. Because this was a sense for one of you young brothers out there. If I go, all right, this is just for you brothers, you young brothers on the comment board, man. It's, it's tuning in. Now, for instance, I might go to, let's say, I go to Genesis. You said if I go to Genesis uh, 3 and 3, and it says, but of the fruit of the but of the fruit of the tree, which is in the midst of the garden, the most I said, ye should not eat of eat thereof of it. Neither, neither uh, has said ye should not eat of neither. I'm messing it up. The most I said it, ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. So if I ask you, what what does it, what does it mean right there for a tree? Or what is it talking about? You should be able to know where to go at, man. All right, you should be able to know. Which this uh, this is a precept upon precept. Somebody go to uh to understand what the tree is, right there as an example. Somebody go to Mark eight and twenty four, man. I got you. The same Mark chapter eight verse twenty four. And he looked up and said, "I see tre I see men as trees walking." Yeah. So those those trees back then were people. There was men. The only way you find it out is by understanding precept upon precept, man. Now continue, uh, uh, continue, uh, Araya. Kind of, kind of. This is Isaiah 28, verse 10. For precept must be upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little and there a little. Yeah, here a little and there a little, man. You gotta go, you gotta go over here, get a little bit of this from James or Revelations. You gotta jump back to uh Jeremiah, then you gotta go to Romans. You gotta, you gotta go deal, you know, you know, let, let Paul get down. You gotta go back to John, Matthew to get a full understanding. This is not these, these scriptures, man. This King James Bible is not a double XL magazine. This is not an ebony magazine, all right. This is not a the cat in the hat right here, man. You just read it all the way through. You have to, and like I said, it had to be used with skill, man. You can't be the guy, the young guy that got the keys to a Ferrari, and you just, you just, you gonna crash it, man. You gonna, you gonna, you gonna self destruct, man. You gotta know when to, when and where, when, where, and how to apply the scriptures, man. All right. Anything else, you brothers got? We yeah, got a free up. Yeah, um, this uh first Peter's five and this for this uh Proverbs one and five it says a wise man will hear and will increase learning, and a man of understanding shall attend to wise counsel. Yeah, you know? and we just you know, I had a I, I gotta still put it up there on the on the on the on the page, but me and the brother Roger went over uh dealing with wise counsel, man. And that was you know, like I said, I've been for some reason, because you know, we got like some young brothers coming out to the camp. I think I counted like nine nine brothers on the side. And I some reason in the spirit I've been going through these these you know these basic lessons, man. The one on one. Of, you know, understanding what wise counsel is, man. Getting understanding how you milk. learn in the scriptures. What you about to say, I was just saying back in that Isaiah 28, 9, getting weaned off the milk and, and, and sucking off the breast. Yeah, the milk are the basis of the scriptures. You shouldn't be a guy that you know. You are you still learning, but you want to jump to the Hebrew, or you want to jump to, to the uh, to the to the meat and dark sayings of the scriptures, which that's called the meat, the dog the dark sayings, the deep breakdowns, man. All right. Yeah, I'll be on I'll be on this channel here. I, this is the main channel I'll be on. All right, but to start over, before we get out of here, like I say, you young you young brothers out there, you you first need a King James Bible. Get you a King James Bible, man. I don't want, I don't, you know, you, you shouldn't have the hotel Bible, man. What they, what they call that hotel Bible? Start with a G. Uh, the, the Geneva. You shouldn't have it. You shouldn't have a, a NIV. You need a King James Bible, man. Sometimes uh, the 1611, if you can understand the Quaker English, man. You need, once again, get you a Josephus, man. 
All right, if you really want to get down, all right, like I said before, this Josepha has a lot of meat and it got some bones in there, man. So be careful. All right. Next, yeah. next, you need you a Strong's, man. Get you a Strong's. This, this is how we got down before the, the elder brothers and, and the apostles. This is how we got down back then with the strong accordance, man. Before uh, Blue Letter. <laughs> Before the blue letter was uh uh you no know, drop, even we still go back to it, man. Then you get you a, a rich which is, this is nothing more than a Zonovan Pectoral Bible dictionary, all right. It's another book you want to get, all right. You about to say something, Mama Watt? Come on, I gotta go in to wrap up everything. Another brother ain't got nothing. Get you a pocket for man. It ain't nothing but like eight dollars, man. Nine dollars. All right. Go ahead, Doc. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 6, verse 11 and 12. And we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope unto the end, that ye be not slothful, but followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promises. So this encompasses everything. We desire that every one of you show the same diligence which you, you give diligence to make your calling and election sure to the full assurance of hope. What is hope? El peace, expectation. We expect the kingdom of heaven. We expect the heavenly father to make good on his promises that ye be not slothful. All right, don't be lazy. Don't rely on another man's work to get you into the kingdom. You gotta be a good soul, be not, Be not slothful, but followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promises. All right, starting with our forefathers, starting with our elders and apostles, starting with the camp heads, man. You follow the men that follow the Lord. What did Apostle Paul say? If he follows me as I am, be how shy. And that, that is what it is. Yeah, read that one more time. Uh, Jay need to hear that, man. Come on. Hebrews 16 and 11, 6 and 11. It's lucky. And we desire that every one of you show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope unto the end. And, that and Paul was saying that because Paul was giving 144% of himself, man. Which you got, you got camp heads out here. In the, the apostle elders that give a full 144 percent of themselves, man. They're open book, they give you and then the man, the men give you their first of all, first of all, they give you their time, the diligence, man, to deal with you one on one in the council. So you gotta make you gotta make uh you gotta make it you know a, a serious thing to be there on time, to be uh you know the first in, in, in those different classes that brothers give, man. All right, you gotta give a hundred percent, one hundred and forty-four percent of yourself too. That's why it's been said like that, man. All right, go ahead, Doc. That ye be not slothful, but followers of them who, through faith and patience, inherit the promises. Yeah, man, and not on another, not on another man's back, man. Well, sorry, how shy. I ain't, I ain't thought it was that serious, man. I was, I was following, I was following the, the head of the camp. I was. I was believe, hey man, you gotta get it for yourself, man. You know, and I tell these brothers all the time, let's, let's just say, all right, let's just say that the you know the camp group, you have you know, something go down in this society, it's, it's it's 30, 40 people out there in front of you, or whatever. You, I guess all that all that all that work supposed to be on the head of the camp to, to deal with all those people. No, you gotta you gotta divide those people up, those students, those men. You should be able to teach a class, man. Because we're not just over here. Like you see in the mother camps, I let's say IUIC is one one I could bring out for example. All you got is a bunch of bodies just marching down, just marching down the street, man. <laughs> you just got a bunch of bodies, man. It's just bodies. Can't it's literal polish. bodies, man. But when you talk to those guys, they are zombies. They don't they don't have it for their damn self. Well, I can call my big arc on the phone. He can. He can deal with you. No, can you deal with me, man? You want to be that guy, okay? You want to be able to hold your own, all right? In the men of GMS, we ain't just no bodies, man. Everybody can hold their own, man. All right? Brothers can hold their own, man. Their own weight out here. And like I say, the men that's, that's men that set up over these camps, devote themselves so you can, brothers, can hold your own, man. So you don't just be a body, man, a damn parrot. All right, because well, let's let's go back to El, uh, Apostle Gabor. He brings it all the time. It's three, it's three, it's three uh 
three particular uh, stages of being a prophet or a man of law. His first is the parrot. A parrot only uh, replays or says what he hears. A monkey is the second. A monkey displays what he sees. And then it's the, the guy that's a dragon. And the guy that's a dragon, he looks into things. He's very lethal. All right? He's very sharp. He's a surgeon when it comes to the scriptures, man. Information. Which one you want to be? All right? Anything else before we leave? Anything you brothers got to say? Oh, you got something, right? Go ahead. Go ahead, Doc. I got one. This is, uh, hey, just to back up what the brother Anwad brought out on how not being slothful, and if you're diligent, you you, you get the, the riches of the kingdom. This is uh, Proverbs 10 and 4. He becometh poor that dealeth with a slack hand, but the hand of the diligent maketh rich. One more time, Mark. Jake, need to hit that, man. Uh, this is Proverbs 10 verse 4. He becometh poor that dealeth with a slack hand, but the hand of the diligent maketh rich. Yeah, and I'm gonna say this too, man, through experience. And once you once you get to a height where you 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 pacing yourself in this truth, then you start working on you as a man. All right, that's another that's a whole other lesson in itself, man. Then you start becoming disciplined, responsible. All right, because like I said earlier, man, over here GMS, man, we ain't just over here pumping out a bunch of bodies, man. All right, for clout, for clout chasing and to be seen. We're pumping out men, sharp men. All right. You weren't responsible in the world, but when you come over here, you're gonna be responsible. All right. You're gonna you're gonna grow. You're gonna be built, you're gonna be built up. All right, mentally. All right. It's gonna it's gonna be a, a thing that's not forced. Because you got a lot of guys that are, that are uh, lights, camera, action, Israelites, man. When that camera is on, they're super duper. They, 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 they'll say I 500 times in one sentence, man. All right? But when that camera go off and the brothers are in their, their different domains and space, nigga mode is on, man. Nah, we ain't dealing like that, bro. We ain't dealing like that, man. So you go, you have to apply yourself scripturally. You have to supply, apply yourself uh, as a man, too, man. And just, and just just in your walk has to elevate, bro. And I, like I said, a lot of lazy Jakes don't want to do that. Jake is lazy. Jake don't want to deal with the four hundred percent of uh, being diligent, man. All right, being being uh, there's another word I want to say because I was thinking about it earlier. Being uh, accounted for, man. Hey, I know that the elder of the camp, he's gonna if camp is for five, he's gonna be there at four thirty. He's gonna be there at four thirty. So let me let me be there at four thirty, man. He's giving his all. Let me give my all, man. That's 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 a point of being accounted for, man. I ain't just in the guy in the back chilling. Got one for you. Yeah, go ahead. It's uh Romans 12 and uh I'm gonna start at 10, the point 11. It says, be kindly affectionate one to another with brotherly love and honor preferring one another, not slothful in business, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. Yeah, and like I say this, man. The brother on the coming boy lights out 12. This whole lesson was really uh a point of, it really for you, man. Because you keep asking that question about John 3:16. Like I say, you know, you, you should be a guy that got a computer. You should have a you should have a decent phone. Oh, you should there now. I know you have uh, somebody in your family with a computer, somebody close to you uh, have a library, man. All you gotta do is go to the search engine. It says YouTube search engine. Just put in GMS John 316. You're gonna find an everlasting pool of wisdom and knowledge understanding on that topic, man. But you can't and the question that you're asking, you can't just sit up there to, to use it as to go against a Christian. You gotta first digest, okay, what John 316 is, man. Right. Who 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 and what is talking about? And that, like I said, that's an example. You can't be the guy that's using this thing. Like you got the keys to a damn Ferrari, man. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna wreck and crash yourself, man. All right. 
Like I say, oh. hey, bro, go back. Uh, lights out 12. Go back and watch this whole video. Go back and watch this whole thing, man. Before you run out there and want to cut up uh, Christians and all this, you got to get it first, man. Yeah. Right. Right. You got to get it, man. Yeah. Why are you trying to convert somebody and you're not you're not even doing the work yourself? Hey, when man, man, comes man. back, he's going to ask you what you were doing with your work. The wisdom that he gave you, the understanding that he gave you, what did you do with it? Did you go out on the highways and hedges as commanded? Did you fellowship with his men as commanded? Did you keep the commandments to the best of your ability? Like trying to convince a Christian of John 3, 16, that's not even, how do you know that's not somebody that the Lord just wants to kill? You focused on one person. You need The one person you need to focus on is Yahweh first and foremost, and you, your own salvation. Yeah, and I'm gonna ask, you know, you know, if you know, it's, it's all good. What, what city and state you in, man? Before I get out of here. Because I might can, you know, point you the right way to some men that can actually help you, man. There's only so much we can do from a comment, boy. There's only so much you can get in an hour, an hour lesson, man. <laughs> That's beautiful, man. Romans 2 and, two, 2 and 21. Thou therefore, which teachest another, teachest thou not thyself? Thou that preachest a man should not steal, does thou steal? So you're trying to convince somebody else that they're an Israelite, but you're not even doing what Israelites are supposed to do. Yeah, yeah man. We're, we're living epistles, man. We live out the word. So, I mean, that's that's a straight cut, man. Oh, yeah. You right there by some brothers, man. Yeah, you right there by some brothers. I'm going to, next time, I might go on your page and just send you a message, man, and, and, and give you the nearest camp to you. All right? And like I say, I seen you on here for... Then about two years now, on and off. I hope that you go, man. I'm gonna give you. A, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna set you up with the brothers. All right, and I hope that you go, man. I think you told me. I think you told one of the brothers you were about 20, 21, 20, 23 or something like that. So, like I said, I'm gonna set you up with the men right in your state, man. And Lord willing, you uh, you deal with them, man, and they can answer and show you the way. All right, because like I said, there's only so much we can do over here in New Orleans, man, on the comment board, you know. Any y'all brother got anything else to say? Anything else to bring up before we get out of here? No, that's it. Yeah, so with that, man, we hope this was edifying. Until next time, and you know, uh, shalom, you brothers out there on the comment boards and sincerity, you different elders, you different brothers, and you are uh, you, you some of you sincere sisters out there, man. Shalom until next time. You know, I'm gonna give all yeah. praise and glory and infinite honor to Yahweh. Yeah. 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 Once again, double honor to the elders apostles. The men that rule well and teach well. All right. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. Until next time. Shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. shalom. shalom.